You're right, lads. This is the Geordie Jedi here. Today, Podju's maybe last home game. I'll be honest. He has slightly, I suppose, warmed up the fans a smidge, very tiny bit. People will still want him out, and I'm one of them. But it's less. It's going to be less volatile, less hostile. And part of the reason for that is is poor performance. If it ended two two. We should have been beaten Hull. You know, we really should have. You know, that, but, but because we were better. That was the thing. Before this match, well, before really the start of the season, you'd have said, you know, we should beat Hull City, and we should. Especially at home. People probably thought we were going to lose. There were quite a few people, even Newcastle fans, who thought we were going to lose. Actually, funny enough, I actually read, uh, read um, Sky Sports Review, and he actually predicted a 2-2 draw, so you know, I think he got pretty spot on. Whoever he is, I don't care who he is. Finished 2-2. First half, well, all game really we dominated, especially possession, but that's to be expected with five midfielders. And at home, if you don't dominate possession with five midfielders and you're at home, then something's wrong. And seriously wrong. Performance-wise, passing was good. 20th, 29th minute, there was a beautiful bit of passing from us. Really was. It was, it was like when Arsenal scored that goal against Norwich last year. It was that kind of intricate little play, and it was nice to say we don't see it often. Before this, it's pretty much just been balls into the box and hope it works, which it didn't. Ended first half nil nil. Lots of decent chances this time. Rivier got his chances, and to be honest, one of the things I said about Rivier in my previous reviews was that the problem with him is that he doesn't get his chances. I can't judge him how good or bad he is because he doesn't get the chance to score anyway, so it's not his fault. In this case, actually, he did well. Somewhat. He should have scored. There are a couple of chances he should have scored from. But, I'll be honest, the chances weren't brilliant either for that man. And he's still by himself. Part of the reason why he did well was Cabela. Cabela has been moved up further. Well, been f moved further up. Basically to the role Ben Offa was meant to play. Who, by the way, was at the match in the Newcastle seats. He was right next to the dugout, just on the left of Steve Bruce. So he was still sort of affiliated with Hull City and he was wearing his Hull City hoodie but he was sitting with actually Newcastle fans. So that was good on him. He took a few pictures too. Yeah. Ended first half nil nil. People were particularly annoyed. You know, f fifth minute it did happen. The little protest, you know, the booze. The booze. The booze. But to be honest actually it was overall even until we were 2 nil down Everybody was chanting for Newcastle, apart from the booze, 18th minute, although when I saw it, it was a 17th minute, which was really weird. It was just me stream, I'm sorry about that. 18th minute, there was obviously all the clapping for Gutierrez, good on him. It's obviously a huge shame. I mean, don't, he's... Because we're only finding out about this now, it, and it's a bit later on, it does suggest he might, he has an alright chance. Especially since he's already had the surgery, he seems he has an alright chance of pulling through, but it's still, you know, not 100%, so good luck to you, Gutierrez or Jonas, if you see this, or Honus. Half time, everybody was somewhat content. We should have been leading, but that's exactly why people were content, because we should have been leading. We weren't outclassed, at any point during the day, we were not outclassed, apart from really two bits of moments which I'll get on to. Start of the second half, no changes to be expected. I'm a little I was a little surprised that there wasn't one change really and that was for well to really to have Riv to give Rivier a friend. More of a friend, but it didn't happen. Forty eighth minute, I believe it was. A bit of dodge a little bit of luck has to be said. Callback should have absolutely smashed the ball away. He didn't. He took a touch, then went to smash it away. He should have took it first time. It ended up falling back to Paul City, passed around, put in a beautiful ball for Jelovic. And I'm not quite sure if it was an overhead kick or I think scissor kick is probably a bit more. Just beautiful scissor kick. Really just jumped. Power. Good bit of distance. It wasn't right up in front of Tim Krul. It was a bit back. And, you know. Anyways, went in 1 0. People were still. People were obviously just shocked because this was out of nowhere. This was against the run of play. Even before that, we had a good chance. So this was completely out of the blue that this happened. So 
you know, people were still the the boo boys weren't uh, weren't out yet, you know, because people were still quietly confident that by rights we should be able to get a draw if things change. Then I'd say I think 68th minute, maybe 58th minute, something around that. Took forced the army, nice little bit of play, and again, boom, just a beautiful shot. Both their goals were not our fault. I mean, there was a dodgy patch pass which led up to the, their second goal, but. It was it was one of those things when it was the defenders played well, midfielders played well, strikers played all decently, and it just happened. It it happened. It happens to us a whole hell of a lot. I mean, it happened last year with Hull City. The only reason why they beat were last year was because of these random fluke. I was going to say fluke, not so much fluke, just random, lovely, wonderful goals. And it was the same today. That's the only reason why they got a draw is because they got two wonderful goals, and that was the end of it. Then. Brought CC on for Rivier. Well, I'll be honest, I was still. I'd lost hope a fair amount. We were still on top, but 2 0 down, and we hadn't scored until then. You know, you, 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 you're thinking, no, it's just not going to be our day. But, goes to Tiote, Tiote wins it, puts a beautiful ball to CC, takes a, a tiny dodgy touch just to put him a little bit further out to the right than he should have been, took the shot near post, went in. Power was behind it, McGregor should have done better, but Power was behind it and it went in, and we were thinking yes. About 71st minute, maybe 72nd, we were thinking yes, perfect. This is our chance, because we were still on top. This puts were back in the game. And lo and behold, about hmm, 87th minute, I'd say, give or take, again, goes CC, just puts in a beautiful, beautiful little shot. And it was CC again, and it was just crazy. Because Cissé scored two goals last season and the entire last season and scores two in one game to save Pardew's arse, I think. Because it has to be said that even though we should have won, a draw, I'm quite happy with the draw given what had happened. Given how we had to fight back from 2-0 down to win a draw with only about half an hour left. So I'm, I'm somewhat happy. If, if he had said this at the start of the game, I'd have said, piss off. You know, I don't want, I want the win, but given... Given what had to come back from 2 0 down. Anyways, brings Perez on. Actually, brings Sammy Amiobi on for Teotihuacan because Teotihuacan got cramp and he kept he went down twice with cramp. So there's a point when it's he's gonna cost a goal if he stays on. Sammy Amiobi came on, did all right. Actually, he was a little bit of a catalyst, especially for the second goal in particular. Brings Perez on in the 93rd minute with two minutes left. That seemed pointless to me, but should have brought him on really. I think about the same time as Sammy Amiobi. But, yeah. Overall, somewhat happy with the result. We still need a win. A win. We still desperately need a bloody win. It was. But, today at least, it's not too bad. But, it's still Pardew out. You know, that's, today is testament to why Pardew should be out because against Southampton, you could say the players didn't play well, and that's why we lost. Today, the players played well. And more only got a draw. I don't and part and quite frankly, you know, bringing CC on that was nothing to do with Pardew really. Because quite frankly, you know, as far as as far as Pardew was concerned, he wasn't going to score either. CC wasn't, and then he ended up scoring too. So he deserves little to no credit for that. Anyways, next game is away. In the next, I think seven games, five of them are away. Got Swansea. Luckily enough, we got I think it's Stoke first, and then Swansea, and then. So, this being the Geordie Jedi, leave a like if you can, it really helps. Subscribe if you want. And, as always, may the force be with you.